Tomorrow, Gordon Brown will host a full meeting of his cabinet in Glasgow. It's part of an initiative to hold cabinet meetings around the UK to take the political and popular temperature outside London. But it's not the first time that the British cabinet has met in Scotland. Our political editor, Brian Taylor, dips into the archive. Inverness Townhouse, until now an unrivalled venue in political history. And now we enter the council chamber, of which in 1921 the British cabinet met, uh, the only place outside Westminster and in Scotland. Lloyd George called his cabinet to Inverness to deal with the Irish question, unemployment and Armenian refugees. Council officer Ian Burnett shows us round. The Inverness exhibits are fascinating, but here's a silent movie of the big event. Winston Churchill arrives for the 1921 Cabinet in Inverness. He was then Colonial Secretary and Liberal MP for Dundee. The Prime Minister was also a Liberal, Lloyd George, then a popular figure for securing victory in World War I. But his power rested on an increasingly tricky coalition with the Conservatives. The Cabinet had gathered to discuss the Irish emergency. Dublin had rejected King and Empire as part of proposed devolution. Cabinet met in the Highlands because the PM was on holiday at Gaelock. Eighty years on, that Highland gathering is still remembered. There's a great sense of pride uh, amongst the members, amongst the public, and especially native Invernesians, uh, that the British Cabinet decided to come to Inverness. And up till now, it is the only place in Scotland that the British Cabinet have met. Normally, of course, the British Cabinet meets here, Downing Street, home to Prime Ministers since Walpole in 1730. But, starting in Birmingham, Gordon Brown decided to take his Cabinet on tour in an effort to engage with the people. Done that, got the T-shirt, says Alex Salmond, who took his Scottish Cabinet out and about, including this visit to Dumfries. That 1921 Cabinet meeting in Scotland ended up forming a key part of the prolonged detachment of most of Ireland from the United Kingdom. The cabinet meeting here in Glasgow is of a very different order, designed to stress the continuing relevance of the UK government to Scotland and Scotland's continuing key role within that United Kingdom. Here's a historical footnote to close. A year after that 1921 cabinet in Inverness, Lloyd George lost his premiership and Winston Churchill lost his seat. Brian Taylor, reporting Scotland. Glasgow. Nationalists are calling for every primary school pupil to have their way.